When it comes to sniffing traffic using a command line tool, TCP dump is the tool of choice for both its power and simplicity. It's compatible with Wireshark and that means that you can save the captured packets to a file and later open that file in Wireshark on the same or another machine for a visual inspection. Let's see how it works. TCP dump is installed by default on any Linux distribution. The following commands will be executed as root. If you want to see what's hitting your interface, you execute TCP dump minus I and the name of the interface. In this case, ETH0. Let's generate some traffic. These are the captured packets. I'm stopping the capture by pressing on Ctrl plus C. If you want to see only the packets to or from an IP address, you add the host option. TCP dump minus I and the interface, host and an IP address. Let's say 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. And in another terminal, I'm gonna ping that IP address. It's capturing only the packets to or from that IP address. And if you only want to see traffic in one direction or the other, you can use SRC or DST, like this. DST, medium.com, minus N option is used not to convert addresses to names. You can use an IP address or a domain name that will be translated to an IP address by your DNS server. And these are the packets to medium.com. To capture packets going to or from a particular network or subnet, use the net option. Net and the subnet address. And if you want to see packets of a specific application, use the port option. For example, I want to see only HTTPS packets. Port 443 minus double V and minus N. To produce more verbose output and print additional fields, I have used minus double V. This is HTTPS traffic. If you want to see traffic going to or coming from a specific port, use SRC port or DST port options. For example, I'll sniff only DNS queries and that means UDP packets going to port 53. DST port 53 minus VV minus N. You see, these are DNS queries. Adding minus A option will have the output include ASCII strings from the capture. This allows easy reading and the ability to parse the output using grep or other commands. Let's try this filter. DST port 80 minus A and minus N. Minus N is optional. And I'll visit an HTTP site. For example, uh, info.cern.ch. By the way, this is the home of the first website. See the capture. If you use minus X instead minus A, you'll see both ASCII and hexadecimal data. 
I'm reloading the page. This is the CapChart packet, its contents as a string, and here on the left side as hexadecimal data. Let's go ahead and see how to save the captured data to a file. It's often useful to save packet captures into a file for analysis in the future. These files are known as pcap files and can be opened in Wireshark or other packet analysis tools including TCP dump itself. To write to a file, use minus W option, like this. In the next example, I want to save all HTTP packets to a file. So TCP dump, minus I the name of the interface, ETH0, port 80, CERN.ch, minus W and the name of the file, CERN.ch.pcap. It will save the packets to this file and I'm generating some traffic, some HTTP traffic. When you want to stop the capture, you simply press on Ctrl plus C. 27 packets have been captured and saved to that file. To read the file at a later time with TCP dump, use minus R like this. I've read the file. Note that when reading the file, all options we have seen are still available. For example, minus n, minus double v, and minus x, an uppercase x. At the end of this lecture, I want to show you some more advanced features of TCP dump which are logical AND and OR operators. Let's suppose you want to capture only ICMP packets going to a specific IP address. For example, TCP dump, minus I ETH zero, ICMP, the protocol, AND, host, and the IP address. It will capture only ICMP packets to or from this IP address. Okay, a ping was running in the background. These are the packets. But if I ping another IP address, let's say stackoverflow.com, you notice that the packets are not captured. And the last example, I'll capture HTTP or HTTPS traffic. For that, I have to use the logical OR operator, like this port 80 or port 443.